The way I play Final Fantasy at the moment is, if there's no voices, I tend to skip the cutscenes. Ah! My bum... My child. How many flowers did you get? Uh, I just ordered Taco Bell. Ooh, what'd you get? Who is it? Hello? <laughs> Eat the flowers! Oh! <laughs> yes, you're here! We haven't eaten yet, have you? We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Everyone's eating now. <laughs> he brought you DoorDash. Oh, the fucking hamburger looks. Oh my god, food. <laughs> <laughs> and cookies too? Seriously? Hmm. Oh. Fuck. Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well. But he refused with a rather grim faced no thank you. I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? <laughs> Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. <laughs> An excellent idea. Of all people, Warriors must take proper meals and rest if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Ah, shut the fuck up, game! This feels too real! Astinian, beset on all sides. That's a big ass hamburger. Speaking of one's physical condition, Mistress Quile, I hear you recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. Yes, uh, right. Oh, and what an experience that was. That's strawberries? Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. <sighs> if anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. I've not felt a hint of her presence since. She doesn't like you anymore. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower, yes? Mm-hmm. will be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. And then something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Come to think of it, isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Rads at Harm? Hmm. Hmm. The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow. Oh, just pizza with a fork. Reflecting the elation we destroy. <laughs> the relief of a people with renewed hope. Indeed, and in turn, I felt buoyed by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlothroi or learned the full breadth of the forum's plan. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. It's it with the fork. This ruins my immersion. Honestly, same. Just like, you know, the textures of the hamburger kind of ruined it. Uh. Hey. That's mine. <laughs> the swift the spoils. Though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. <laughs> mm, only barely. And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. 
She stole his cooking and she cut it in half. <laughs> Jesus. You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume. I and from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. Twas necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. I uh, yes, well, after a fashion. After a fashion, uh huh. So many chocolate chip cookies. Like hello, share. They're tall, you see. The shelves—they're too tall for me, and I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention. Now, could I? Calm down. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he used the levitation spell to be lifted, not all. <laughs> oh, should we call a night? You do know these are my quarters. <laughs> I'm not that ambitious, but it is pleasant to idle away the hours every once in a while. There's a donut. There's a lot of food they still have not ate. Mad. Don't be wasteful now. Ooh, green. That's a nice color. Fuck you. Ah, enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur? Or fashioned from the skins of your enemies? Or... Well, never mind that. You should get you and where are you? I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Our tower in Thavnir has been toppled, and I need not tell you by whom. You need not to tell us? Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. Are you sure about that? It does, however. Slow the rate at which we siphon the ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes questionable. Hmm. Our foe is bold enough of that. I can assure you. That's true. Uh, yes, very well then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. Honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? No. Hmm. No. All else is equal. Equally tedious. Equally disappointing. Oh. The world is a tepid bog <clears throat> into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. Everyone dies. Millions of experience. But then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. Aflame. I basked in the afterglow, 
until the void yawned once more. Then I knew the muck would never claim me again. Someone needs to go to Hooters. No. There was naught for me ahead, so I drew the curtain on who would have come before. He got a curtain. He's got a curtain. Quickly, hide a dragon behind it. <laughs> Burn. Let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. Your moment of death? Got it. How wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. <laughs> Dragon type behind curtains for thousands of years. You, Pretty much. Pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless. You are mistaken, for I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. Art. Oh, you no. see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing, disjointed, all the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me, so I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Hmm. But is it final? Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you. Now, if only they could take their final and, and then soon, fantasy together. Very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Oh, they're going to do it. Yes. I think that is something we oh. can both enjoy. 